3.5 ratios and proportions. A ratio, the use of division to compare two quantities. There are several ways to represent ratios. The first one is A to B and they are all said the same way. The next one you can separate them with a colon it's still a to b and also as a fraction a over b which is said a to b so they're all the ratio of a to b so the first one here at a car wash fundraiser 18 ninth grade students and 14 tenth grade students work the first shift find the ratio of ninth grade students to tenth grade students so to write a ratio, you just take the number of ninth grade students that were there, 18, and compare that to the number of 10th grade students that were there, 14. So there was 18 ninth graders to 14 10th graders. And there are three different ways you could represent this. For B, we have to find the ratio of ninth grade students to all the students. So again, we have the 18 ninth grade students to the total of all the students that were there. So we must add together the ninth grade and the 10th grade students. So we must add 18 and 14 to give us 32 students. So the ratio of ninth grade students to all the students is 18 to 32. Again, there's three ways to write the ratio 18 to 32. They are all correct. A proportion, an equation that states that two ratios are equivalent. So we have W235 equals 427. So because they're equal to each other, it means that they are equivalent. Now we must solve for W and find out what W equals. Now because we're dividing W by 35, to undo division, we must multiply both sides by 35. On the left side, the 35s cancel each other out and we're left with w equals. Now we're multiplying a fraction times a whole number so to turn that whole number into a fraction we write it over 1 and now we multiply straight across the top so we have 4 times 35 which equals 140 and on the bottom we have 7 times 1 which equals 7. 140 divided by 7 equals 20 so w equals 20. Now for the next one, we have 9 to 2 equals m to 12. So we're trying to solve for m. Because we're dividing m by 12, to undo that division, we must multiply both sides by 12. On the right side, the 12s cancel each other out. On the left side, we write 12 as 12 over 1 and multiply the fractions together. So up top, we take 12 times 9, which is 108, and on the bottom, 1 times 2 is 2. So 108 divided by 2 is 54, so m equals 54. For c, we have z to 18 equals 5 to 9. Now again, we are dividing z by 18. To undo division, we must multiply both sides by 18. On the left side, 18 and 18 cancel each other out. We're left with z. On the right side, we have 5 ninths times 18, and we write 18 as 18 over 1. Now we multiply straight across the top, so we have 5 times 18, which equals 90, and 9 times 1 equals 9. 90 divided by 9 is 10. z equals 10.
Now let's look at a word problem. A backpacker in the Sierra hikes 5.5 miles in two hours. If the hiking rate remains the same, how far will the backer hike in seven hours? Write and solve a proportion to find the answer. So first off, we can set up a proportion of 5.5 miles to two hours. We know we're traveling 5.5 miles in two hours, so we know how fast we're doing that in. Now we need to find out how far the backpacker will go in seven hours if he continues at that same rate. Now when we do this to write the proportion we must match up the hours and the miles because the miles are up top the miles that we are looking for the X must stay up top and because the hours are on the bottom the seven hours must also stay on the bottom to match up. Now since we're trying to solve for X we must undo the division by multiplying both sides by 7. On the right side, the 7 hours cancel each other out, and we're left with x. On the left side, we're multiplying 7 times 5.5 over 2. So we make 7 a fraction of 7 over 1. Multiply straight across the top, 7 times 5.5 is 38.5, and 1 times 2 is 2. 38.5 divided by 2 is 19.25 miles. So the backpacker will hike 19.25 miles in seven hours.